All right, welcome back. The next replica, the one crafted from Sora's memories, was real enough to join our ranks. And Vexen but not real enough to not be fucking killed. <laughs> in every way. If he ever finishes them. Hmm. The thing is, I kind of told Sora and his nitwits that we're ready. My bad. Let them believe as much. <gasps> Ugh, Zemnis. If they think it's that we have all thirteen. Sorry, Ansem, the fucking whatever I gave you before. We weren't at all trying to fucking Ansem. start a queue. A queue. Yeah, totally. Why is this thing a member again? Hey, now, pointing is rude. The first six members of the original organization were all apprentices to Ansem the Wise, and the seventh and eighth members joined thereafter. The thirteenth member was Roxas, a Keyblade wielder. So, what about you? How do you suppose I chose numbers nine through twelve? <clears throat> you chose us by our dashing good looks. Yes. You have been brought together for another purpose. What? So that we can rot away on the bottom rung. <gasps> this card guy. <sighs> I forgot he You're existed. Two? Me too. What is this organization rehash? I happen yeah. to play an important role. No one benched me. You were listening? So not cool. One must hold one's cards as long as necessary. What important role? That stupid box that Zigbar claims is real, but won't tell us a thing about? Oh, yeah. You'll just have to ask Zigbar that. Now then, Semnus, what is this purpose? You didn't invite us back for old times' sake. Go his sleight of hand is pretty for <laughs> I'm going to reveal your greatest secret. The ancient Keyblade legacy that slumbers within you. Huh? Hmm? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> You're right, though, it wasn't Ansem pretty. <laughs> Okay. Now they have keyblade powers, I guess, Chris. They're the um <laughs> I love it because like why do you think we brought together these four? Because they're the prettiest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they that sure well they strike me. <laughs> they had a rose guy, uh whatever girl and fucking uh guitar man. Uh, we're going to this one. Play the one we haven't played yet. Oh, sure. We're gonna embark. Embark, embark? I know where we're going now. I don't think you do. I do. You know why I know where we're going? Nope. Because we got a jar of dirt. I do have a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt! And guess what's inside? What is inside it? Apparently the scene in that where he like falls at the end with the jar of dirt, like stumbles down the stairs. Apparently that was not in the thing. Johnny Depp just actually accidentally fell down the stairs while they shot it. You'd they be surprised how much in. of that stuff is yeah. in movies. Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> oh no, my turn! <laughs> That stuff's in more movies than you think, and it's always funny to me. It is, a, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. But you know what else is pretty good? Liking and subscribing? Yeah, actually, let's go with that. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. Did you know that only 10% of people who watch our videos are subscribed? The hell are you other 90% doing? You're here consistently enough for it to be 90%. Just hit the sub button already. What are you doing? <laughs> it's like, if you're here that consistently, you may as well just hit the fucking button. Oh <laughs> my fucking god, that is too real. <laughs> yes. Oh fuck. So dumb. <laughs> oh my god, I love... That they decided that all the loading screens should be social media tweets. Dude, it is not the hashtag test post. Ever. Hashtag X organization. 
<laughs> hashtag Zexon6. I love... Hashtag Radiant Garden. Hashtag Crack the Theory. I love that fucking people are just like, companies don't care about Twitter, and that it's just like, literally they put Twitter in for loading screens, and I'm like, yeah, companies don't care at all about Twitter. Literally have fake Twitter in their games now. Yeah, they don't care at all about Twitter. Spider-Man has that. In fucking the new Spider-Man game, there's literally a Twitter feed for Spider-Man that you can check at any time to see what the public is saying about Spider-Man. And I'm just like, yeah, companies don't care at all about Twitter. Yeah, wow. so dumb. Twitter is completely pointless to them, and they don't like it at all. They're definitely going to leave. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> it's like they're literally making fake Twitter to put in their game. Yeah, they don't care about Twitter. <laughs> Fuck your sea shanty. Are we gonna get copyright fact? <laughs> no, Pirates Life for Me isn't a real song. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, it is a real song, but I'm pretty sure Disney doesn't own it. Hopefully. We'll find out, I guess. So... If it's not owned by Disney, we could just go pop... <laughs> copyright strike all the Disney movie stocks. No, I'm pretty sure it's public domain. Oh yeah, you're probably it's right. Because it's a sea shanty from the 1800s. Whoa, are you sure that's in public domain? <laughs> I don't know. Mickey Mouse should have been in public domain, and yet here we are. Uh, Mickey so. Mouse is in public domain, but it's just the steamboat Mickey. Yeah, so, you know. Yo, yo, ho, a pirate's like I, me. Okay, a little better, but that was weird. It was really gross. <laughs> it's a weird ending. Because we're in pirate land again. Pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. How could anyone not? <laughs> well, Amber Heard might have something it's to say about uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Where else? The edge of the world. Captain Sorrel. Huh? That sounds dangerous. <laughs> what ails you, Mr. Goofy? The edge of the world. I. Oh shit! Sea, sir. Aye, we're running out of sea. <laughs> oh. Running out? It's alright, if you hit the edge of the world, technically you're just supposed to get more uh, muck. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god, fucking bless me. I was going crazy there. <laughs> it's not going that crazy. You're just not used to vibrating <laughs> controllers. <laughs> you know, I was going crazy for the amount of this is not a very intriguing. I feel like any time a controller vibrates, you're like, that's going crazy. And I'm like, that's because all your controllers are broken. <laughs> and they don't vibrate. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm used to that HD rumble, Chris. Oh yeah, that perfect HD rumble. See, now that would have felt like a waterfall if we had some yeah. HD rumble. Unfortunately, we're not playing this on the Switch. <laughs> uh. Death. God, this game's so hard to play on the Switch. Every time I try and play it portably, it says there's no connection to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I didn't buy it on the PlayStation <laughs> on the Switch. God, I love the fucking streaming Switch ports, which completely defeat the fucking purpose of owning a Switch. You need to stream it on the internet. But why would you... Okay. Cool, isn't the whole point of this system to be portable? Alright, whatever. <laughs> hmm. Where'd we end up this time? Burn out, ding! You ended up in the Sea of the Crabs, remember? The Crabs? The crabs the big, where Captain Jack Sparrow was hanging out with the Crabs. They moved the ship. The Crabs. Somehow was inside the Kraken. They never really explained that. <laughs> Forgot about that. Like he was eaten by the Kraken, and then the next thing we saw was in this world, and they just never really explained why or how. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's the Black Pearl. That's the crab boat. It might be the Black Pearl, but it's being carried by the crabs. I can tell you right now. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it is being carried by crabs. Yeah, this is the crab boat. Manned by its capital, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I legitimately forgot about this. Did you not watch Pirates of the Caribbean? I did. Two? No, I think no, it, was it was three. three. Yeah, it was three. I forgot about this. 
I forget how he convinced the crabs to carry his boat. <laughs> he didn't. They just started carrying it away from him, and then he had a chase after it. They don't really explain why oh, that was now the case. Jack. See, there it is. You remember this from? I remember this from the movie. Huh? Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. Fucking finally, they got a, an impressionist who can actually do the voice. He wasn't even close in every other game we played to this point. Help me catch the pearl before she gets away. Like it's not great, but it's so much better than it's, it was before. It's good. It's like it's good ish. It's so much better. Dude, the first game, especially the first game, or uh, the second game, I think is the first one he shows up in. It's like not even close. The like didn't even fucking try. <laughs> Derek, stop being shot, shot at by fire. <laughs> I mean, that works. Here comes some more. Get away, <laughs> Here comes some more. Goodbye. No, I'm just gonna run after the ship. Why would I kill the Heartless when I can just... Fucking yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life Pirate's life for me, man. That's who's doing this. No one said you could use my ship. I don't think they asked, to be fair. Yeah, they did. They were polite about it. Also, these heartless look awesome. I mean, they are they are uh, good old cutlass pirates with their hammer, hammer, claw, helicopter, whatever they yeah. need it to be. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's over. Yeah, the combo is over, Sora. Never fear. I too remember when I teamed up so and could spin in a circle. <laughs> that was so, that was this is uh, far more capable than Jack Sparrow should ever be able to be. <laughs> what I love is Captain Jack Sparrow is like the best pirate, but also the worst. He's just the most. He's the most lucky pirate. He's in the one of the world. luckiest pirates in the world. He has to be. That has to be one of the greatest pirates that he's ever seen. So it should seem. So it should seem. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have like a. I got like a full length pillow on this couch, right? For, yeah. For recording, Derek finds a way. To mess it up this every time. Every time we record without fail. <laughs> like, if you're gonna be fucking up body pills, let me know. I'll get a sleep for it. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's people. <laughs> I wow. forgot about that. It's, all I can think of is, wow, graphical fidelity is so much better now. <laughs> Those look like real people. Especially a Landra Bloom over here. <laughs> oh yeah, they're like, we need a ship. And then a ship just comes out of nowhere. I think they were searching for Jack. <laughs> Maybe. It's been a while since I've seen Pirates of the Caribbean 3. And then they just found him. Jack! Mr. Gibbs! Hi, Captain. I thought so. I expect you're able to account for your actions then. Sir? There's been a perpetual and virulent lack of discipline upon my vessel. Why? Sir, you're... You're in Davy Jones' locker, Captain. Oh, yeah. Davy Jones Locker? Oh, I uh, see if you dream. Oh, uh, can't oh, uh, it be? <laughs> I'm in Davy Jones Locker. Assuredly. 
Jack Sparrow. Barbosa. He's the villain. Barbosa. No, he's on our side now. It's been too long, hasn't it? I, Illidan Wet, I remember. You shot me. No, I didn't. Sora, we meet again. It's lovely to see you all. I think this is her first Will, appearance. Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Yeah. No, she was in uh in Kingdom Hearts too. Are you sure? Yeah, they had the rescuer. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, oh yeah, you're right. I've seen some adventures. But I never thought I'd find you here. She looks like a real person Speaking though. <laughs> she doesn't sound like the woman. <laughs> I remember her hair being a lot more plasticky than what she did in the first I remember appearance. all the characters' hair being a lot more plasticky, Chris. <laughs> So Joan sent the Kraken to devour Jack, and that's how he ended up here. Dude, this entire everything about the shot just Maybe makes me feel like, locker. oh yeah, You're Square Enix has a as an animation studio, and they wanted to show off. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. And because this looks really Jack fucking realistic, as opposed to their more typical anime-looking shit. <laughs> you had an agreeable sense of the macabre to any delirium. <laughs> he thinks we're a hallucination. <laughs> Complete with these three masqueraders. Jack, this is real. We're here. We've come to rescue you. Huh? This is the picture to burn all my room. <laughs> That's very kind of you. But it would seem that as I possess a ship and you don't, you're the ones in need of rescuing. And I'm not sure as I'm in the mood. Jack! Cutler Beckett has the heart of Davy Jones. He controls the Flying Dutchman. He's taking over the seas. And he must be stopped. The Brethren caught his cowed. She's my favorite character. She turns into a giant and then dissolves into clams and then she's just gone and they don't explain it at all. Uh, she turns into a whirlpool and that's where the final battle happens. She does not. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember really. Sounds to me like this fellow they mentioned is trying to... They like bring her along to help and then she literally turns into a giant, dissolves into clams and that, or uh, crabs and then just fucking vanishes into the ocean. And I love it because that guy right there on the right mm -hmm. summarizes it perfectly where he just goes... He, he sees all this happen and his response is just what we are on your side so you are mates i never could have caught the pearl without you sora donald goofy you're hired yes now as for the rest of you you're in gibbs you can come Oh yeah, the rest of you can come too, I guess. <laughs> Jack. Which way you going, Jack? <laughs> right then. Mr. Sora, the helm is yours. Provided you pass muster. Huh? See that island there? There's the two peaks. Prove you can reach that. And the open sea is yours. Oh. <laughs> Do the tutorial and then you can roam. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my god, it's Assassin's Creed Blackfoot. For people who haven't taken a look yet, go check out my Assassin's Creed playthrough. Cannons! That's not how cannons work at all. <laughs> they're so short. <laughs> they literally fire only to the side. And they're clearly firing from the fucking helm that you're steering and not the fucking cannons. <laughs> yep. There's on those ships. Really? And now they're both dead. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope you can turn the fucking guns more. <laughs> 
This is the tale of Captain, Captain Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. So, we do have a destination, right? Aye, we're marooned, man. We do have a destination. Hey, Patrick, is there something funny looking about this map? You mean like that it's our game board stamped to a piece of paper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cast your fate with Jack Sparrow, and you'll soon be sharing in the wrath of Davy Jones. The guy Will mentioned? Who does he but I like Davy Jones. Anyway? He's part of the monkeys. They were the rival band of the, the Beatles. They were really good. <laughs> Another man of the sky. It's like one of my favorite dumb Spongebob jokes is that the Flying Dutchman gets sent to Davy Jones, uh, gets sent to Davy Jones' locker and it's literally just Davy Jones of the monkeys <laughs> talking about. Jones, him raise Jack's precious pearl from the depths and make Jack captain for 13 years. In exchange, Jack promised to give Jones his soul as payment. But 13 years pass, and Jack failed to return. So Jones, him seen the Kraken to devour Jack, taking him and the Pearl back to the depths. But if Jones learned that witty Jack cheat that fate, him gonna punish Jack even worse. And really? Jack's friends, too. No. Sorry, I don't trust her. No. Sorry, I don't trust clams. <laughs> Not scared at all. That's Still crabs. Most me, dim run for land at the mention of the Kraken. Not you. But Jack be scared. He want to be free of his debt to David Jones. That's why he needs... And Disney. <laughs> I don't think he wants to be free of Disney. Where David Jones uh, luck away the part of him. I think Disney wanted to be free of him. Yeah. The pain it causes also, I'm pretty sure he's coming back anyways. Yeah. But not enough to cause him to... The, um... The director of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies was asked in an interview, like, so what's the thing with, the uh, you know, Johnny Depp, are you thinking about getting him back? And he just, as soon as the question was brought up, he just had the biggest fucking smile on his face and then was just like, oh, I don't know, maybe. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. Hey, it, <laughs> it sounds like you've yeah, already yeah, talked to him. It sounds like you're already fucking in the midst of getting him back. <laughs> uh, I think this is a good spot to <coughs> cut it. Alright, with that, we'll pick it up in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.